everybody. Neil Duncan here for Sports Central. We are on the campus of Florida Southern College for a major announcement. We don't want to give it away, so let's take a look. And now on to the, the big announcement today, and obviously the reason we're here at Florida Southern College and in Lakeland, Florida, is to announce that we will be moving uh, the event right here to Jenkins Fieldhouse on the campus of Florida Southern College. Uh, additionally, we will expand. Our event started with six teams in the Hall of Fame Classic in Evansville from 2017 until this past year. We have gone to eight teams, and we will now expand to 10 teams in the Hall of Fame Tip-Off Classic in, uh, in 2022. The agreement will be in 2022, 23, and 24 to be right here in Lakeland, Florida. Obviously, I'd like to thank Drew Howard for helping to make this happen, but very importantly, uh, we, we have the folks here from the Polk County Sports Tourism and Marketing that have helped make this a reality, and we are very grateful to Neil Duncan and the whole team uh, with the Polk County Sports Tourism Group for helping to bring us here. Uh, between Florida Southern and Polk County, we've had many discussions in the last number of months. In the last number of weeks, we've moved rather quickly. Uh, to, we will announce after Drew speaks uh, we're very pleased that not only will we be coming here, it'll be a three-year agreement, we'll expand the field, but we've already confirmed the teams, we already have contracts, so at the end of the, today's press conference, we will announce the teams then the matchups for all the games uh, next November right here in Jenkins Fieldhouse. So without further ado, let me turn it over to the big wig here at Florida Southern <laughs> to, uh, to Drew Howard. So take it away, Drew. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Uh... I just wanted to share how excited Florida Southern College is to host this event. Uh, it's a special event that we've had the opportunity to take part in in Evansville when uh, jo John Ebling was inducted, uh, a great mock, and uh, we're excited and proud to host this event. Um, I'm excited for our program, uh, for our student athletes, for all the student athletes, it's 68 degrees and sunny out right now, uh, for all the student athletes to get to play in the Jenkins Fieldhouse, but most excited for our community. Uh, Lakeland loves basketball of all levels, uh, but especially college basketball. And the opportunity to have 10 teams, uh, 10 of the best teams in Division II playing here in Lakeland is, is truly special, and we're excited about that. Um, as John said, this event does not happen uh, without the partnership of Polk County Tourism and Sports Marketing. Uh, Neil Dun Duncan and Mark Jackson, uh, the partnership that we've built over the years just continues uh, to allow us and allow Polk County to see amazing, diverse, unique uh, sports and athletic competition. And, and I'm extremely grateful for that group, that team, and their willingness to continue partnering with Florida Southern. Uh, they always do things really well, and, and this event will be no different. This event will be first class. Uh, this is a beautiful place. Uh, when your team's announced to come on down, and for those that are just basketball fans, basketball junkies around the country, this is a great place to come watch basketball. It's a great place uh, to be. So I encourage you, as you mentioned, one of the goals, fill the gym up. Let's fill Jenkins Fieldhouse up. We hope the community really embraces all of Polk County, Lakeland, really embraces this event and comes out to support these student athletes through this wonderful event. We've taken great pride from the very time we started this to make this a first class event for student athletes. And as Drew mentioned, it will be not only no different, uh, it's gonna be done in beautiful weather in beautiful Lakeland, uh, Florida, on one of the most beautiful campuses in America, truly. This place is spectacular. Come on down and visit and spend time watching these games. This has grown into becoming the most prestigious in-season event in Division II basketball. Mm -hmm spent a lot of time with the Conference Commissioners Association and realized that we've got something special here and we simply want to share it with more teams, uh, more regions, more conferences, and give more student athletes the experience. And one way to do that, of course, was to expand the field. You know, the six teams, we thought this is really good, but let's make it eight teams. Once we got to eight teams, it was a nice round number, if you will, with the eight teams, but more and more people kept coming back and saying, what a great experience for our student athletes, for our coaches. And we kept thinking, how can we enhance that? So in short, the best way to enhance it was give more students, student athletes an opportunity uh, to experience it. And to be honest, my, um, my phone rings quite a bit. My email lights up quite a bit with teams trying to get in. Uh, talking with the commissioners, they like more conferences, more regions to have an opportunity to play in it. So this gives us an opportunity to do that. It's, it was pretty obvious that the school that drew the best for men's basketball in the conference was Florida Southern. So you combine who draws the best 
along with having a conversation that started with Mike Donnelly, a conversation we had. Mike is on our, uh, our committee for our National Awards Committee uh, for small college basketball. So I called Mike up and said, I've got additional question for you in addition to uh, some of the awards that we present. Started talking about the event. He said, yeah, that'd, that'd be great <laughs> if it's here. We ought to talk to Drew. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty quick uh, interest, obvious. I mean, our men's basketball program is one of the best programs in the country. Uh, we want to play the best teams in the country, any opportunity we get. And there is no better event in the country for D2 men's basketball. It's just not. I mean, the quality of teams here from 1 to 10 are all teams that make regionals, are all teams that make postseason, that compete for conference championships. And those are the teams we want to play. And if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and you got to play with them. Uh, and our fans love college basketball. They love consuming Florida Southern basketball. They want to see it. They want to watch it. They want to stream at the refs, stomp, <laughs> eat in a six-man room. They want to have a good time. And so the opportunity to bring them two games of this quality and then all these other teams to watch and enjoy uh, was something that, that we simply couldn't let go anywhere else. Uh, when John and I first started talking, it was, how do we get this done? Um, Polk County Tourism Sports Marketing was a big part of that. But yeah, it was an immediate... You know, this is a, a great event for our program, for our community, and, and we got to make it happen. Well, certainly some exciting news as the small college basketball tip-off classic will be coming to Polk County. Of course, we have a rich history of basketball here in Polk County, and we can't wait until 2022.